Hey, what's up, Miss Gabrielle Union? Are you single now? You still with Wade? Or I'm, I'm just playing. How was breaking in? Let's get into it. My name is Brandon Kidavery, and this is just my opinion. Hey, guys, thank you so much for tuning in to my opinion slash review for Breaking In starring Gabrielle Union. I really do appreciate it. Now, um, I, I was going to see this film early, but I decided to wait to see this with my mother on Mother's Day. So again, happy belated Mother's Day to all the lovely mothers out there. Uh, we really do appreciate it. And Gabrielle Union was a great mother in this film. We'll get to that. But before I do, this is directed by James McTeague. I was really surprised when I saw he was attached to it. Um, his first film that he ever uh, directed was V for Vendetta uh, that came out in 2005, which I love. He also did Ninja Assassin that came out in 2009, which I'm a fan of as well. Did a couple of episodes of Marco Polo, and now he's doing Breaking In, uh, which is produced by Will Packard, um, who did the film uh, Almost Christmas. He's a producer, a black guy. Uh, he produces a lot of uh, you know black films. And um, he's pretty good at it. But we have Breaking In right now starring Gabrielle Union. Um, she's a great actress. I'm very fond of her. Her role in this film was Sean Russell. And what the film is about is um, she's a mother. Uh, she f comes into her father's property. She has two kids. They go away for a weekend. And for some reason, these bad guys are wanting to uh, infiltrate the home to get some money, break into the safe, whatever. And it has all this security and things like that and mysteries. And you're just trying to figure out what's going on, what's the secret, what's in the safe or whatever. And she's just basically trying to survive get her kids back uh you know before the bad guys take her away now uh my expectations for this film was extremely low and that's perfectly fine and this is you know it's marketed as a thriller it's pg-13 and it is less than 90 minutes coming in at, or just an hour and 28 minutes and it did not mean to be it did not mean to be a second longer there um, I loved Gabrielle Union's character in this movie. Um, if she, if she, what I, well, the reason why I said that is not only was her performance pretty great, but if I was in her shoes, I would have done is everything exactly has the way she did it just for the most part. Um, you know, maybe some things I would have did a little different here and there, but when you're in the heat of the moment, having to make split second decisions, um, you know, it's kind of hard just to, you know, go by the perfect plan. Her kids in this movie as well um, uh, by um, what's her name? Jasmine Russell is one and Glover Russell. Glover Russell's name is Seth Carr and the, the daughter's real name is Ajonia Alexis. She does seem familiar. Um, oh, wait a minute. That makes sense. So this Ajonia Alexis played the young um, Melinda at Acrimony. You know what? This makes me not like Acrimony even more because in this film here, she did a great job. She did a fantastic job. Now, how old are you? Because you seem much older um, in in Acrimony than you did in this film right here. I mean, this film, they was kind of playing her as like a 14, 15 year old where in uh, Acrimony, she was playing a uh, college student. But uh, Joni Alexis, her acting was much better in um uh, and uh, breaking in than it was in Acrimony. And that just goes to the sire direction that Tyler Perry gave those characters. Go check out my review. I hated that movie. But anyway, she did a great job in this film as well. Um, you know, sometimes I get annoyed with little characters here and there when I don't feel that they're tough enough. But she was playing a teenage girl scared. I can completely understand that. But basically, the characters in this movie, the protagonists, I really did like. The bad guys themselves, they were okay. They were uh, very cliche, cliche where you have a leader and then you have one that's really scared and then you have another guy over here that's just completely off the top wanting to kill everybody. We've seen that a thousand times. Um, you know, you can tell that this group of gangs, they didn't grow up together or anything like that. It's like they met around the corner store. But, I mean, it's fine. I did not know how this movie was going to end. I'm not going to sit here and say that I was at the edge of my seat the whole time, but I was thoroughly entertained. Um, there were just it was fun kind of maneuvering around in the house with them playing with the technology. But at the same time, guys, you've seen you've seen home invasion films like this before. This is not anything special. But at the same time, there's nothing that I can complain about it. It is, it is a great entertaining film. But at the same time, it is plain Jane. But that may have been what they were going for. And there's absolutely um, nothing wrong with that. I mean, it was entertaining. I wouldn't mind watching it again. I'm not saying that I will buy it, but, you know, if I'm just bored 
one day, months from now, years from now, and this on TV, I may continue watching it or something like that. Or if I'm having company here and we just want to watch a movie, I mean, this is one of the things that I would, you know, hey, have you seen that breaking in or whatever? I mean, it was, it was a fun movie, not anything special. Um, you know, if you're a Gabrielle Union fan, you will like this movie. If you're not, maybe it's not for you, uh, but that's perfectly fine. If I had to rate uh, Breaking In out of a 1 out of 10, I would give it a 7 out of 10. Yes, a 7 out of 10. But guys, really, that's just my opinion, okay? What did you think of the movie, or have you seen it, or do you want to see it? Have I turned you on? Have I turned you off? Do you agree with me, or do you disagree with me? Let me know down in the comment section below. Let's get this conversation going and keep it flowing excuse me if you uh, like this video go ahead and give me a thumbs up and if you don't that's fine but you can still subscribe to my channel you can also uh go to my website uh, help me out there bookmarking and also look me up on social media facebook instagram and twitter all that good stuff it's right there at the bottom of the screen and i made it very easy by providing a link to all that good stuff down in the description box below but guys i just want to thank you again for tuning in to my opinion slash review for breaking in starring gabriel union please help me reach 5,000 subscribers if i haven't reached it already and if i have thank you so much and if i haven't help me get there and before you go don't forget that my name is brandon kid and that's just my opinion peace